We're going to start on the 21st verse. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. We're going to start and conclude at verse 28, I think. It's starting to get really good. I might want to go further. But... Amen. If you can repeat after me, I pledge allegiance to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible. God's holy word. God's holy word. May it be a lamp unto my feet. May it be a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. And a light unto my path. His word. His word. Will I hide in my heart. Will I hide in my heart. That I will not sin against God. That I will not sin against God. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor this, is this is the word of God. Word of God. Look at your other neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor you're, in right you're in the right place at the right time. The, right time. the Bible says, let every man be a liar, but his word be the truth. Joel, reading from the King James Version. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten and the canker worms and the caterpillar and the palmer worms, my great army, which I sent among you. And I, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dwelt wonderfully with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Just put a coin right there, and if you can just help me preach and say, I will, I will never, never be ashamed. Be ashamed. <laughs> and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. There it is again. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Come on, come on, come on. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Yes, yes. yes. And your old man shall dream dreams. And your young man shall see visions. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for your word. We thank you, God, for your blessing that you would use me as your servant. Use me as your conduit. And God, today we just honor you because of you are worthy to be praised. And God, we love you today. We thank you for seeing visions. We thank you for dreaming dreams. We thank you for the spirit of prophecy was sent in this house. That you would pour your spirit upon this house. God, we thank you that no sin or anything that we did in the past will cause you not to pour your spirit. So God, we thank you for not being ashamed. For washing us in your blood. But God, we give you all the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before you take your seat, if you could turn to three people and tell them and declare with me. The best is next. The best is next. The best is next. Now, if you receive that before I even open my mouth, just go ahead and receive that. That my best is next. He had some good things before, but my best is next. Yes, it is. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Today, as I began to pray last night, ask God what to preach on, what to speak. Sister Boozer, he said that, he says, I'm going to open up the eyes of the people where they'd be able to see spiritually. All right, All right. I'll it. Yes, sir. He said, don't be surprised when your younger, your children begin to speak what thus saith the Lord. God. 
when dreams begin to happen and it'd be so distinct and so particular when it happens, it'd be like watching a movie. And it was, it was incumbent upon us that he would speak like that on the first day of consecration. How many understand there's power in fasting? And so I want to implore, if we can get through your idiosyncratic fashions and formats, and say, this year, I'm going to give the first fruit to God. I'm going to give my first, to, uh, I'm going to give my consecration. I'm, I'm going to give myself to God. In spite of what happened in 2020, we have to forgive what happened in 2020. 2020 was an explanation point. It would be a year that no one ever will forget. But how many believe with me that your best is next? Fasting, fasting, fasting. Um, when Jesus, uh, Jesus fasted, and before he fasted, uh, he, 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 he was baptized. Yes, sir. And when he was baptized, he, uh, the Holy Spirit came and the Father spoke and said, this is my son whom I'm well pleased. And then he sent him into the wilderness to fast. And fasting is simply doing without food. I don't want to overly spiritualize it. It simply is doing without food. In other words, uh, it's, like, it's like when you're fasting, you're following God. And, and, uh, and when you fast, you start to follow God faster. And so I like to put it that following, fasting causes us to follow, follow faster. Because now, instead of hunger and thirst in our flesh, we hunger and thirst in our spirit. Yes. And God began to feed our spirit. The question is, why fast? Yes. That's a great question. I also see you're, you're intelligent and sophisticated. And so I came with that answer. Amen. Fasting it results to your stomach because your stomach yep. is where your desires lie. Mm -hmm. In your stomach is when you when you have hunger pains. Your hunger, your body tells you you're hungry. Mm -hmm. But also in your in your gut, that's when your where desires lie. I gotta have this. I gotta have that. I gotta have him. I gotta have her. That's where your desires lie. Mm -hmm. The problem is is when your desire is your master mm -hmm. instead of your servant. It becomes a problem. Yes, yes. In the Bible, you'll see what Adam and Eve, they ate their way right out of the Garden of Eden. Because they ate what they shouldn't have eaten. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fasting says, instead of my hunger telling me what to do, yes, yes. I tell it what, what to, to do. do. Yes, yes. Esau and Jacob. Esau, uh, uh, he was so hungry uh, that his brother was able to trick him out of his birthright mm. for a bowl of soup. Yes. So his hunger stopped him from getting his birthright simply because he put his hunger over his future. And if that don't capture your attention, the children of Israel... They cried. They said, give me manna. Give me, give me, give me, give me kale. And, and they, they even cried and said, we want the leeks and onions back in Israel. And as a result of their grumbling and complaining, that hunger stopped them from going into the promised land. In your hunger, you'll find greed. In your hunger, you'll find anger. In your hunger, you'll find lust. But God says, I'm getting ready to pour out my spirit among you. But I'm not going to pour it out on, on your lust. You have to put me first. Yes. Put him number one yes. in 2021. Yes. Yes. In fact, you'll see fasting throughout the scriptures. Moses fasted after the Ten Commandments. David fasted 
Uh, he was trying to save his child. His child ended up dying, but it represents the Christ dying for us. Elijah, uh, uh, Elijah died, uh, fasted after Mount Carmel. After his success, he went on a fast. Ezra uh, fasted for the children of Israel uh, uh, to come back to God. Esther fasted because uh, she had to talk to the king uh, about the genocide issues that was going on with the children of Israel. Yes, yes. Darius fasted uh, because Daniel was about to go to the lion's den. Yes. Daniel fasted because his prayer was being hindered by the enemy. And as a result, he had to fast so Michael could come and put the enemy in his place so his prayer could get to God. Yeah. Paul fasted after, uh, after the Damascus Rose experience. And if that don't get you, Jesus himself fasted. Yes, yes, yes. For 40 days and 40 nights. And as a result, the enemy, the Bible says that the enemy came to tempt him, uh, to tempt him with, with the hunger. And, and you know you're hungry. Go ahead and turn that, that stone into bread. Mm -hmm. And before he started his public ministry, fasting was in place. I came to you, I come to you as a clarion call to tell you that the best is next. But it comes as a result of fasting and prayer. The enemy was trying to stop Christ from his destiny. The enemy was trying to stop you from your destiny. The enemy tried to stop him uh, uh, from, uh, from living righteously. For dying sacrificially. And raising bodily. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Will, you will you fast? fast. Yes. For some of you who's on medication, those type of things, I want you to follow your, follow your doctor's orders. Mm -hmm. But you can fast from something. Yes, yes. It's time for consecration. And we got to get to the point where God, I'm studying the word daily. The first mentions, the first mentions, the first part of the day, God, I'm giving it to you. I'm studying the word. Mm. Not only do we, the first mentions of the day, but the first mention of the year. This is why we do this in January, because we want, if, if we give God yes, January, yes, he'll bless yes, the rest yes, of the year. Yes, that's good, Pastor, that's good. This is why you pay your tithes. If you pay, if you pay your tithes first, he'll bless the rest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I love the scripture because he says, look, the past is the past. And he says, you won't be ashamed. But right now it's time to start to put him first. Yes. So fasting, it, all, it demonstrates our frailties before God. Sister Boozer, we do this every year, and every year I have a headache. Mm -hmm. It's not even the stomach pains. It's the, my issue is the, like, like this morning, it just, it's, my, it's like it ain't even been 12 hours. Yeah. My body was like, <laughs> are you ready for this? Amen. But how many are determined to get what God has for you. Yes, yes. Which means you can't be led by your flesh. Yes. But you have to be led by your spirit. Amen. Thank you, God. The problem is, a lot of times we don't see the best because of what happened. Yes. But I came to, to tell you, for those of you who are going to a closure point in your life, mm -hmm. the best is next. The lady that, 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 that had, that she was about to, she was about to run out of meal when she was about to cook a last, uh, a last, uh, a last uh, cake and, and she saw the prophet. The prophet said, if you give it to me, she was coming to a point where she's about to give up. She was coming to a point where she was, she was about to, to just call it a day, call it in. This is it. This is all. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. But she had to come to that end for God to open up a door for abundance. 
And I came to tell somebody uh, today that the reason why you went through that is because God is about to open up a door of abundance. Yes, yes. But what you have to be able, you have to be able to see that the best is next. Yes, yes. And Joel, he said, the sons and daughters will dream dreams and a young man will see visions. Somebody said, I'm getting ready to see some things. I'm getting ready to see some things. Ah, oh, Jesus. I, I wish I had somebody who had some spiritual glasses on yeah. that would just give God a praise for what they see. Because yeah. you can't yeah. tell everybody yeah. what you see. Yeah. Yeah. Sister Boozer said, I put up the wheelchair. I, I, I don't care what the doctors say. I'm going to walk in my stroke. Somebody, you know, sometimes you have to see it in spite of what you hear. Yes, yes. That's good. That's good. There's healing in fasting. There's submission in fasting. Mm -hmm. There's also, we make God bigger when yeah. we fast. Yeah. 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 Not only do we make God bigger, but the things that used to bother us become smaller. Yeah. Yeah. I heard a preacher say this earlier. He said, he said it should be 30 30, 20, 10 rule. I was like, what's the 30, 10 rule? He said, you should spend 30, 30 days in prayer. Mm -hmm. At least 20 days a year in fasting. Okay. And give 20 and give 10%. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, I'm going to give you these points and I'll be out. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God is getting ready to open my eyes. Fasting causes your divine vision to get stronger. Now, there's different types of fasts. There's absolute fasts. There's three-day fasts. It's 24 hours fast. Most of the most of the things you see in the Bible is 21 day, um, um, uh, 24 hour fast. We're doing the Daniel fast. The Daniel fast is powerful because the, Daniel refused to eat the king's food, and as a result, he went on his own fast. He ate what the Bible says to eat, and as a result, the Bible says he was a hundred times stronger than all the rest because he trusted God. He also fasted again for 10 days. And that 10 day, like I said before, is to open up the door where the enemy couldn't stop his prayer from going through. Because mm. the son of precision, which is the devil, uh, was holding back his prayer. He's listening to his prayer, trying to hold it so it wouldn't get to God. My first point. Is that God is going to give you divine provision. But you have to see it. Divine provision. Somebody say divine, for divine provision. Divine provision. Let's go to Genesis 21. 15 through 19. This is 21, 15 through 19. Somebody say divine provision. divine provision. Listen, I can decree over your life if you can receive this, that you'll never be broke another day in your life. I can decree over your life that you're about to go into another financial set, another financial a group if you can receive this but number one you have to put God first mm -hmm. can, can I get amen? amen now how many know if you focus on God then you don't have to focus on yourself amen. and when you focus on God which means all the things that you struggle with he says I'll, I'll, those things will just fall off you don't even realize they fell off right. why because you know how to seek him first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. amen you got it Genesis 21. Mm -hmm. 
and the water was spent in the bottle. And she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat her down over against him a good way off. As it were, bow shut. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him and lift her up, lift up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad, and the angel of God called to, to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. Mm. Read Genesis 5, really quick. And Abraham was an hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. Amen. Now, Hagar, she got kicked out. Anybody been rejected before? She got kicked out and she was on her last. She was hungry. In other words, she was on a force fast. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get on a force fast, but we don't fast intentionally. And the Bible says that God heard the voice of her son. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y'all missing it? Mm -hmm. He heard the voice of her son. She went and she just let the baby cry. And God heard the voice of her son. And as a result uh, of, of her praying or, 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 or saying, God, I don't know what else to do. God says, I'm going to bless your son. And make him a ruler over nations. This year, I need everyone to pray for your children. Mm. I don't care if they're on drugs, if they uh, don't want to come to church. They, 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 some, somebody, somebody say, my child, my child belongs to God. Belongs to God. Oh, Jesus. Yes, you understand God. that hey, that, that, that right you, there God. may be Thank your you, salvation. God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He provided for Hagar because of her child. Yes, yes. The enemy is trying to put division between you and your children. Yes. I know I'm speaking to yes, somebody. Yes, yes. They can't stand, you can't stand them. But today, God says, I'm going to restore. With the canker worms and the locusts stayed up. Yes. He says, today I'm going to give you provision and I'm going to restore your family. Mm. Now, I need somebody to give God a praise for somebody in your family that don't know Christ. Yes, thank you, God. Is there anybody beside me that, 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 that kids ain't doing exactly what you thought they would do, but I'm still praise God anyway? Uh, Jesus, you got some uncles or some cousins that, that haven't been doing the things the way they should, but I'm going to praise God for them anyway. Don't you give up on them. Can I get an amen? Because God didn't give up on you. And if God can save you, he can save Uncle Joe. Yeah. If God can save, yeah. save you, he can yeah. save Auntie yeah. uh, yeah. LMA. Yeah. I, I, I don't know who it is that's in your family, yeah. but somebody yeah. can get a bar yeah. of praise yeah. that God yeah. can hear their cry. Yeah. They may be going through bad things, going through tough things. Why? Because God wants to hear, the, he wants to hear their cry. And he says, now I'm going to bless you because now you come back to me. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. This time we fast and we're not just fasting for ourselves. But write somebody's name down who needs Jesus. Yes, and you're going to intercede on their behalf. Yes, yes. Is there anybody here that says, God, I love my family enough to fast for them? Yes, yes. yes. Hallelujah. It ain't all about you just having the spiritual gifts. It ain't all about you seeing. You got yes. to see your family Thank you, seen. Thank you, God. Not only is he going to give you divine provision, he also going to give you divine direction. Let's give me numbers 22, 28. Divine direction. Somebody say divine direction. Divine direction.
Mm -hmm. And the Lord opened the mouth of the ass, and she said unto Balaam, What have I done unto thee, that thou hast smitten me these three times? Here you have it. The prophet was going the wrong direction. And he used the donkey to speak to the prophet. The prophet was going off on the donkey. And as a result, he had to open the prophet's eyes because there was an angel getting there to curse him or getting ready to destroy him because he was going the wrong direction. I wanted to uh, employ you today that God is trying to open your eyes so you can go the right direction. 2021, you were going the wrong direction. God gave you grace. I'm sorry, 2020, God gave you grace. But 2021, God says, I need you to go the right direction. Because destruction is in the other direction. Hear ye word of the prophet. God says, as God says, the best is yet to come. But today, you need to follow me. Can I get an amen? amen? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor, it's time, it's time to, go right to go the right direction. What's the right direction? The right direction yes. is repentance. Yes. The right direction is restoration. The right direction is forgiveness. Right direction is letting bitterness get out of your heart. The right direction says, God, I'm going to serve you and praise you if nobody else does. Am I talking to anybody here that's willing to go the right direction? The right direction says, look, Lord, I haven't been the best father, but I'm going to be the best father now. The right direction says, I'm going to be the best husband that I haven't been. The right direction says, Lord, I I've had some failures, but through this fasting and praying, if you can restore me a clean heart and a right, renew the right spirit in me, God, I'm going to follow you all the way today. Hey God, I'm going to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the yes, work of the Lord. Yes, Why? Because yes, that is the right direction. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God, I thank you. With direction, God says, I'll give you witty inventions. I'll have the Holy Spirit, and he'll cause you to be creative. And all of a sudden, he'll let it open up windows, and it goes back to the provision because now you're going the right direction. But your desires, your passions, your anger has caused you to go the wrong direction. God says today, put them on the altar. Yeah. Yeah. And this fast, you got to see the right direction. Yeah. I love my GPS because a lot of times I miss the turn. Yeah. Don't look at me strange. I ain't the only one. <laughs> but the great thing about my GPS, it reroutes. How many give God a praise for a spiritual rerouting? I missed that turn, but I ain't gonna miss the next one. I, I'll, if I have to go and make a U-turn, if I get off, get off the next next exit, God, I'll get off the next exit. But God, thank you for rerouting me. This fast, God is gonna give you a divine direction. But not only is He gonna give you divine provision, not, not only is He gonna give you divine uh, direction, but He's also gonna give you divine protection. 2 Kings 6.15 Yesterday we fed about 200 people. The first time we, we were supposed to meet at the church there was a gun shooting and they closed down the whole block. Mm, mm. Yesterday we didn't have that but then I got a call and they said that uh, someone um, lost their life and a man was held, held up. They're holding a baby. But how many know that your house is going to be protected? Amen. How many believe that? Uh, thank you for the one hand. Thank you for the boozer. Second uh, Kings 6.15 And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, mm -hmm. behold, and host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto them, to him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Amen. Elijah and Elisha. Elijah was encamped about the enemy. Yeah. And Elijah was like, what are we going to do? And the prophet prayed for his eyes to be open. And when he looked up again, he saw angels surrounding his enemies. And he said, there's more with us than against us. 
OCC, there's more with you mm -hmm. than against you. I know there's been some hardship. It seemed like you, it seemed like you, you got some issues. But how many know that the angels are with you? Yeah. And today is the first day of the fast. And when you fast, you activate your angels. Yeah. You activate the angels that protect you. Yeah. You activate the angel that ministers to you. And God says today, put your angels to work. That's the reason why the bullet couldn't kill you. Because your angels were there. Yes, yes. That's why the accident couldn't kill you. Because your angels was there. Yes. That's why the STD couldn't kill you. Because your angels were there. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. neighbor. Thank, God Thank God for his protection. For his protection. Yes, yes. Thank you, God. Not only do we have divine provision, not only do we have divine direction, not only do we have divine protection, but we have divine visitation. How many believe that angels, and I don't want to get too deep, but how many believe that spirits are real? Yes, yes. Can, can we all get them? Yes, yes. How many believe that God can visit you and you can see and feel his visitation? Yes, yes. How many understand that you're more spirit than you are flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your flesh is temporal. Mm -hmm. But your, your spirit is eternal. Mm -hmm. In fact, your spirit being in a body. And when you say the best is next, you can declare that with your words. Amen. But it's your flesh that's getting in your way. Mm -hmm. Many of you think your flesh is you. But your flesh is not you. It's your spirit that's you. It's your flesh that's getting in your way. Some of you are so powerful that your flesh can't comprehend it. But today, we're going into consecration. Because today, God, I want to see you. Open up their eyes, Lord. Open up their eyes and let them know that they're the head and not the tail. Who am I talking to? Open up their eyes, Lord, and let them, let them know that they're healed, mm -hmm. and they were always healed. Yes. Open up their eyes, Lord, and let them know that they didn't have money, but they was never broke. <laughs> no, that's right. Amen. Open up their eyes, Lord, and let them know that this anointing is about to reign, and they're about to do things that's going to surprise them. But open up their eyes, Lord, and let them know that their angels are with them. Am I talking to anybody here today that the same discouragement is no longer part of my life? That doubt is no part of my life. I will be the head and not the tail. Who am I talking to? God says today, open up your eyes and see visions. Open up your eyes and see the dream that God has for you. God says today, I will pour out my spirit. But I'm getting ready to do a new thing. Yeah. But this time, some will be cast out by fasting and praying. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So today, how many commit to at least try yeah. to fast? I, I will commit to at least try to, to say, God, I, I'm going I'm 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 to cause my flesh to to be under submission. Amen. Who will endure the headache? Who will endure the stomach growling, the stomach pain? Who will endure? Because if you endure, God says your best is next. Yes, yes, God, yes, God. How bad do you want? You want that family back together. How bad do you want it? Only God can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want that promotion. And you really don't, you, you really not even qualified for the job you have. But God says, I can do it for you. But how bad do you want it? Mm -hmm. This nation is going to come back together. But it's going to take the church being on their knees. And we got to get back to fasting and praying. Mm -hmm. 
But the same division that's out in, in the country and out in the streets is in our same house. God says today, I already got it. He says, I'm waiting for you. Mm -hmm. I got it for you. Mm -hmm. But you got to get out your own way. Some of you had dreams ever since you was a child and saw things happen. And God says, I'm just waiting for you to get out your way so, so, so I can take you, to, take you places. Today, we're going to stop crying. We're going to stop the pity party. Amen. And we're going to declare that our best is next. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, God. My best is next. How, how many going to stand with me and say, my best okay. is next? Okay. I don't care what I went through in the past. My best. I don't care how successful I was in the past. My best yeah, is next. Yeah. Now, if you receive that, give out a praise. Say, so, God, I thank you for my, my best. I, say, I see it. How many can see it? How many can see it? How many can see it? You haven't sold your best yet. You haven't been in the best part of your relationship yet. You haven't been the best mother you can be yet. You haven't been the best grandmother you can be yet. Your best is next. So we got instructions in reference to the Daniel fast. If you can't do the Daniel fast, fast from something. Fast from social media, fast from TV, fast from coffee. How many, how many, how many, how many willing to take the spiritual journey with me? Yes, hallelujah. If you give him January 2021, he'll give you the rest. Give it to him. Fast from fighting. Like you ain't fussing in January. I ain't arguing. Just walk. Mm -hmm. All right, fast for food. Y'all can't do the fast. <laughs> I don't know about start, that fight. Start, 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 start with the food then. Start with the food then. One step at a time, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Now, I say that to say this. I see prosperity over your house. I see peace over your house. I see our children do a mega church. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes. I see you prophesying. I see you preaching and teaching. Can you see it? I see you driving whatever car you want to drive. I see you going to a neighborhood and saying, you know what, I want this house. Can you see it? I see owners of business. I see you having employees. Can you see it? I see our children going to college. Tuition completely paid for. Can you see it? Lord, open up their eyes so they can see it. I see you healthy and healed. Can you see it? If you could see it, give God a praise for what's in your spirit. Because if it's in your spirit, it could be manifested in your flesh. But the spirit has to be stronger than the flesh. Yes. That's why we fast to put our flesh in submission <laughs> to God's will. Yes. Yes. 
one of the things they used to do in the Old New Testament, they would anoint you before the fast. They would anoint you. Or they would have you wash your face. In other words, you get physically, you get ready, you get prepared mentally. You make a commitment, this is what I'm going to do. So today, I want to anoint your hands. For those of you who are going to do the fast, I want to anoint your hands. It won't take long, I just want to anoint your hands. I just want to anoint your hands. I want to anoint your hands. I want to anoint your hands. We're going to give January to the Lord. Yes, God. 